So flexible electronics are electronics which do the same things that uh, traditional electronics do with the big difference that they are lightweight and they are built onto flexible substrates. So we can think of a, a sheet of plastic that has a display on it and can also have a keyboard and can be woven into clothing. So it's very lightweight, very rugged, uh, hopefully very inexpensive and very high quality. Some of the uh, new term applications for flexible electronics are going to be a, a set of uh, evolutionary improvements over traditional electronics. So you can think of uh, computers that are lighter weight and more rugged, packaging that is flexible and can accommodate multiple chips. So small improvements in engineering that result in cheaper, better performing electronics. Uh, you can also think about midterm applications things like an electronic newspaper, so a newspaper that can be downloaded directly on a sheet that you carry with you and you can fold and put in your pocket. Other applications would be uh, wallpaper that emits light gradually and senses you as you enter the room. Uh, solar panels that are used just like roofing tiles can be nailed to the roof but collect energy and, and uh, allows you to use it in the home. So there's a very wide range and all of these things are being worked on today. So this is not a dream. These are things that will happen. Uh, the the long-term applications and implications are just tremendous. I mean, the, to me, the ultimate thing is are things that deal with people's lives and their health. So biomedical applications are obviously the very exciting application. They can be simple things like wearable electronics that diagnose people's health and sense their environment and warn them as if there is something harmful in the environment. You can have point of care medicine, so for people with chronic pain, you can have uh, clothing that senses their pain and senses what's causing it and does something about it. You can have clothing that uh, calls in uh, medical help when it's necessary. So applications that uh, deal with people directly. And even longer term than that, you can think of electronics that can be directly interfaced to living tissue. So you can have uh, artificial organs, you can have uh, applications where uh, you can dispense medication and control health and do something about emergency situations until medical help arrives.